Hello friends, I am CA Dhananjay Gokhale and in this video I am going to demonstrate you that how you can import GSTR1 JSON files downloaded from the portal into your Excel using Power Query and how you can also merge files of multiple months or quarter into single file. So let's begin. The first step is that you have to download all the JSON files from the GST portal. So it is in zip format. So you have to extract each and every uh, zip file of month and rename that resulting JSON file. And please ensure to uh, delete that zip file. Okay, after you download it, because uh, uh, other than JSON, no file should be there. Now it's not necessary that you have to do this activity monthly. You may have this as quarterly and also it's not necessary that you name this file in this fashion okay you can name it as april may june like this now i have renamed this in this fashion so that all the files get sorted very properly okay but don't worry power query can handle that sorting for you then next step is that you have to grab the ready-made power query for uh, processing this json file uh, from my open source project of power query so uh, don't worry uh, link of this project is in the uh, youtube video description so i'll open this power query gstr1 b2b for json format okay we'll click here okay and i will click raw now let us select the complete power query right click and copy it and let us launch excel now uh, i am using excel 365 because json file import is uh, available in office 365 version okay office 2019 and office 365 so i'll open data tab get data launch power query editor and let us click new source and go to other sources and blank query okay now go to advanced editor and delete this query and paste uh, the query which you have copied from the website now you need to specify the folder of the client or the folder containing all the gstr1 json file where okay so now this is the default folder I just kept. Now let us copy paste our folder. So in my case, this is the folder name path control C and just ensure that you don't delete this backslash. Okay. Just paste it. Okay. So power query will automatically scan for all the JSON files found in this folder. Okay. And uh, merge it into a single table. Now let us click done. Okay, so you can see many 220. Now in my case, there are 225 rows and there are many columns. Okay, so let us click close and load to load this output in Excel. So friends, it's very easy. So please give it a try. Now the next step is very clear, just generate sales register from tally and compare it with this thing and I think this doesn't need a separate explanation. So friends, if you like this approach, please do like my video and subscribe to the Excel Kida YouTube channel.